I have a very special guest in our studios right now. Uh, you would know him well from a, a hit, a, a string, singer of uh, big hits in, in the 70s. Uh, we saw him on Australian Idol. He's a barrister these days. We'll find out more about that in just a moment. Mark Holden in our studios. Hello, Mark. Oh, it's great to be here. Thanks nice for having to, me. Nice to see you. Thank you very much. Uh, we, we knew recently you'd been diagnosed with, with thyroid cancer and uh, you'd been through surgery, at radiation. Everything's OK now? Yep. Uh, touch wood. Yeah, there's some here, right? That's touch right, wood. yes. No, everything, everything's good, but it's... Uh, you know, it, it sort of happened actually after my first year of doing Blue September. I didn't yes. really know that at the time I was walking around with some cancer yeah. in my neck and it actually got out into my neck. And uh, it was just, again, lucky. It's all about being early. Yeah, Seriously, right. if yeah. you can get it early yeah. with these things, it's, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's great hope, there's great progress. But the problem is... We know blokes are dickheads. No, they right. are. We can we can be very reticent to do. So, so tell me, I'm always curious to find out how people discovered these things. How did you? I first woke up one aware? morning yeah. and there was a lump on my neck. It was as simple I, as that. It was yeah. as simple as that. And I went, oh, jeez, what the bloody hell is that? And my wife said, ah, oh, it's probably just a cyst. Yeah. And I went, okay, it's probably a cyst. Yeah. Okay. Hope, 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 hope. And yeah. then biopsy, the first biopsy, nothing. They said, ah, oh, come back in eight weeks. And uh, if the cyst, cyst will probably be gone. Right. right? Yeah. Then it was Christmas. Gone. Yeah. And the cyst was still there. I said, for God's sake, let's just take this out. Took yeah. it out, biopsied, and it had got out into some of my, um, my into my neck. And, and uh, fortunately, we uh, got all that and the radiation. It's Look, you know, the truth is um, prostate cancer. I'm going out today to device yeah. technologies out in French, French's Forest. Yeah. The, the things that can be done nowadays, even with prostate cancer. My yeah. dad, when he had prostate cancer, which is why I'm so in, into yeah. the blues. Because he, he died at, at 64, he died at, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he did. And, and, and they gelled with him. Right, right. I mean, yes. in those days, yeah. about 25, 26 yeah. years ago. I mean, that's They're literally... Just, the, the, literally lot, the lot just went. Just yeah. chop, bang, yeah. gone. And... It's not like that now. No. So, you know, that's, I think, you know, I saw, I saw the project on Channel 10 right. uh, about a week and a half ago, and Limo was talking to uh, Carrie, and, um, and, and, and she was saying, well, would you have the surgery if, yeah. uh, if it meant that you didn't have, you couldn't be, yeah. you know, get erectile? Yeah. He was going, oh, no. I said, oh, I just got so angry. Yeah, well, that's I right. I got I mean. so angry. Yeah. If you'd seen my dad. Yeah. You know, because my dad was the era of bloke that just didn't talk about these sort of things. He didn't even talk about it with mum. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was yeah. something down there and you just shut up. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and I, I'd like to think that our age, we're, we're a bit smarter. Yeah. You know? And, yeah. and I'm going out to, 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 to this technologies company this afternoon. They've got this robot. That, that they can do keyhole surgery now and take your prostate out and leave all your nerves there. Yes. You leave all it's, your nerves it's there. It's very clever what's been done. I mean, it's, it's a fairly coarse way to describe it. You ignore these things, you'll end up stiff, you'll be dead. I mean, it's Exactly. It's, it's, well, okay, can I use that well, line? You, you can use it. It's, it's yours. <laughs> Just don't blame me. If so. I can't believe Mark Holden said that. But, 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 but that's dead it, isn't straight, it? that is exactly right. It got me so angry when I watched that. And there was a person on it that was, you know, there's a bit of a controversy at the moment about, you know, the PSA. Yes. And, yes, and, and yes, all that, yeah. and, and 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 this guy on on the project was saying, um, wait till you got symptoms. Yeah, and well, I was about yeah, to hit the television yeah. set. I was about to do a Tony Abbott. Seriously. Well, well, that's that, <laughs> you're whacking the wall. I, I was. The TV. I was. He's denied it, Mark. Just <laughs> yeah, he's denied yeah, it. Just yeah, for the right, record, okay. Yeah, <laughs> but 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 you, you're right. Look, I, I recently had the the test, and obviously the blood test, and then the the digital test, yep. and and you know it's all done in it's, a matter of seconds. Ten seconds of discomfort that, and embarrassment that, that's to it. save and, your bloody life. And it, it was done, and and that's it. And, and you're fine for a couple of years, and away you go. So, yeah, I don't understand anybody now, given the education we have, what we've seen with the advances we've made uh, with women's side of things to, yes. to where we are now. Well, to women, imagine, women have always been more, more willing th- to They talk have, and, and we've made some terrific advances yeah. with breast cancer and that. You'd like to think we're starting to make the same sort of advances with things like prostate cancer because it is one of those avoidable things today. Well, you know, my best friend died three years ago, at, uh, Sydney Cider. Very smart man, mm. really, really bright. But he said, you know what, I don't want to know. Mm. That's what he used to tell me. Yeah. And I'd have this conversation with him every year, yeah. and he'd say, I don't want to know. But it's you can't. That's you're going right. to know. Uh, well, that's right. Eventually, you're you going to find out know, the hard and, way, and, and, and now you yeah. can be now you can be five, six, yeah. seven years ahead of the curve yeah. with all the tests. And why wouldn't you want to know early and get it, and get onto it and get rid of it? Yeah. It's as simple as that, Stuart. No, seriously. I, I agree. Uh, somebody's uh, bopped around here to say hello. Who's, Who's this? Hang on. Here he is. 
Oh, he's been... God almighty. He's... Get, 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 al- <laughs> get along there, Dicko. Uh, Je- Jenny he's... Craig's obviously not working. <laughs> it's creeping fat, Mark. <laughs> now, here's, here's Dicko. He's been filling in for the two Murrays while I can't while look at you all big and grown up. <laughs> so, well, when did you, have, did you have your last prostate check? Uh, and I mean uh, medically. Well, actually, um, when I was on radio in Melbourne, me He's and, Dave, o- me and Dave O'Neill had one live on air. Did oh, you? The doctor well, came in. Oh, well, Mark's got a glove here, so... <laughs> <laughs> and I know your prostate so well, Dicko. I just thought, I just thought you were working on board of security. He's coming here for, he's coming here for a second opinion, see? <laughs> it's, nice, it's nice to see you looking so well, Mark. Uh, but but uh, do you, Dicko, do you actually have a health checks and all that? I, I, yes, I do. I um, My wife made me because I think she's... She's well. She's hoping to cash in the insurance, but and I've started training as well. And she, we had a friend that dropped down dead. He was fit as a butcher's dog. Is that right? And he was a close friend. You would never would have picked it. He was. He was my age. He used to run triathlons. Yeah. And um, when he was in uh, running one of these events, he, he killed over. It was tragic. And Mel made me go and have a, a, a stress test. Yeah. So, and all good. All good. All good. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. I mean, it's it's you know it's I think I think our age of blokes we do talk more. Than our parents did, well, and the, the, the educations around it, also some of the stigma that may have been there years ago that our oh, blokes just put up with this sort of stuff. That's just what you do. We just roll with the punches. All of that sort of stuff has been removed now. That you can say, hang on, I, I don't feel quite right. I, I better get this checked. Or even if you do f- feel fine, just make it because September is blokes' Christmas. Let's be honest. Right. Yeah. Uh, it, it's uh, it, it's football football finals, football time. finals yeah. time, and there's no better league, time yeah. for me. This yeah. is Christmas. Yeah. My wife and daughter have just gone to America for three weeks. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank God Almighty, free at last. <laughs> so let me see. So tonight you're glued in front of the rugby yeah. league. You've got the Absolutely. AFL. Absolutely. How many TVs have you got set up in Absolutely. the laundry? Absolutely. It's <laughs> party got, central. He's got it's, AFL on one. He's got the rugby league on another. It's central at my house for the next <laughs> next three weeks. The uh, the fridge is stacked with, with beer. And uh, seriously, it's it, but but if it's also Father's Day. It's it, So it's blokes yeah. time. Mm. And so what I do now is every September I just go, okay, I've got to go. Yeah. I've got to go. To, I've got to go and have my health check. I've got to go and do it. And it's a bit of a buggy. You don't really want to do it, but you just do it. You just make it. It's something that you do every yeah. September. Go in, have a blood check, finger up the bum, <laughs> and, uh, and 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 if and, and if there is something, here's the point: if there is something wrong, yeah. we can now be seven, eight years ahead of of the curve. Whereas That's my right. old man, when he got it, it was he, it was late. it was too late. Yeah, he was well, gelded, and and that, that that's that. not pretty. And to no. watch it go into the a man's bones. Mm. And and basically he was just a bit older than me, and, and that's the thing that kills me, that he was just he was basically my age when it when it happened, and if he'd just got it early, he'd still be with us. Yeah, it's incredible. Tell me while you're both here, given uh, your roles on Australian Idol, uh, Keith Urban, of course, off to American Idol. I've, I've got my application in. If you got yours in, Mark. <laughs> no, they don't want fifty-eight year olds well, on television say, anymore. Do you know what channel, for channel for the boys? Well, I don't. Before I answer that, yeah. Do you think they should bring back Idol next year and get the gang back together, mate? God bless you, Dicko. I, you know, if nothing else, you are you are He's unbelievable. Mate, he this, never this man, stops. This man's very busy <laughs> taking criminal briefs in Melbourne as a barrister. That he <laughs> hasn't got time for <laughs> your <laughs> silly reality TV. You know TV what? St- the, the, the criminal lowlife of Melbourne would breathe a huge sigh of relief <laughs> if we took him to TV. They'd be getting off more crimes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you know what? Channel 10, Channel 10 could afford me. I don't know that they could afford you, Dick. I'm cheap, these guys. I'll tell you, I'll tell you if, if we can afford him, Channel 10 can <laughs> afford him. <laughs> I was just telling Stuart off, off air that uh, I, I just went out to the drug court in, uh, in, uh, to do a to an application. And, you know, 120 bucks, mate. Mm. That's, that's what a barrister gets to go to the drug court. Is that all? 120 bucks. I, I went, I went out to, I went out to do a legal aid thing for this, and and, I, and I'm waiting at, I'm wait, 9:30 for this woman to turn up. She doesn't turn up, and I say to my instructor, when, 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 how long do I have to wait if she doesn't turn up? And she's she's like twenty, and she says to me, "Oh, mate, you're getting two hundred dollars." You know, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like, the last time I earned two hundred dollars, nineteen seventy six, yeah, playing acoustic guitar at the art school. Two hundred dollars in pot. That's I was going to say, if you threw in a song, they'd probably get up to two fifty, mate. <laughs> <laughs> they might have knocked fifty off. <laughs> Now, tell me, Dicko, who would you have cast on The Voice to replace Keith Urban? Well, I think it, it wouldn't be the likes of us. He'd probably be uh, some overseas artist. Do you think so? I think number one, the sort of the Aussie if, angle, they could, so. if they could afford him yep. and he would do it, Robbie Williams, I would say. Oh, would my be God. Awesome. How good is his new song? Have you heard his new song? No, I haven't. Oh, it's fantastic. 
Christ. Yeah. Got to love Robbie Williams. Some people are saying Jimmy Barnes. Some are saying John Farnham because they're sort of looking for an Australian angle. I don't know they could fit John on the set. (laughs) (laughs) And he's he's done his last comeback anyway, hasn't he? What about Marsha? Marsha, 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 Marsha. Yeah, no, no, I look... I saw her the, the other day. She's the, the only one Marsha. of us three that isn't ageing. It's funny, As she that, said... Because I saw her the other week as well. She looked terrific. Well, you know what does she, she always says, say? She says, black, don't crack. Yeah, but, but we say it spreads a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's old homework. I'll just see you, boys. <laughs> lovely to see you, Mark. Oh, lovely to likewise, see you Dicko. Mark. Yeah, great. You too. Cheers. Good on you, Dicko. Thank you, mate. And we'll hear from him uh, after midday today. So uh, here we are. So Blue September, uh, you are the, the ambassador to help me to raise awareness of men's cancer. And yes. uh, I think that, that is the important thing, to get the message out there that you can never get onto these things quickly enough. Yep, and, and, and the little moment of embarrassment and the little moment of, of, of worry is, is a tiny price to pay. When when you think of the rest of your life, and it's as simple as that. And blokes, just just get into it. And if and girls, if you're listening, and you've got a bloke who's reticent, I don't know what you've got to do. Big promise to him. Big big Saturday, big big night afterwards, or something. Or I don't know what, whatever it takes. But whatever yeah. it takes, get the guys. Just get into get into the habit because yeah. it's such a relief. I tell you what, and and as you know, when you come out of there and he says, "Oh, look, you know, okay," yeah. generally, well, not with you because you're a skinny bloke. But my my guy always says to me, "Lose five k's yeah, right. every, every yeah. year." Actually, yeah. seven Ks this year. <laughs> yeah. Slightly, slightly index for inflation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mate, it's great to see yeah, you, Mark. Cheers, all the best. Thank you very much for coming in. Mark Holden, uh, he's got a range of different roles, but he's also the ambassador for Blue September. Great to see you. Mark Holden, right now it is 28 to 11. We'll update the news headline. Steve Blander, good morning.